If the Yankees are able to come up with a victory tonight, it'll be the 21st AL East title for the team. The Orioles can not only clinch tonight, they need a win and then they need some help. Kansas City or Minnesota need to lose. Just one of those things needs to happen to go along with the Orioles win. John Sterling in the booth tonight. His first night back. John will do the final six games of the homestand. There it is. Susan. Look <laughs> how happy Susan is. My partner back. And now Clark Schmidt's going to have to work to try to either minimize the damage or get out of this inning. And a ground ball to the right side here. That will open the scoring. An RBI for Heston Kerstad as he plays Jordan Westberg. It's the Orioles' first on the board in this potential playoff clincher. Santander advances to second. I like the way that Rhino Hurt swing plays, frankly, in this ballpark. O'Hearn through the left side. There's a base hit the other way. Ryan O'Hearn with a two for two day here in the Bronx. And the Orioles lead it 2 0. So Judge has 55 home runs. No one in the history of baseball has ever finished a season with 55 home runs. Swung on, there it goes. Deep left field, it is high. No, it is far. It is gone. It's a judgy in blast. Aaron Judge, it's number 56. Puts the Yankees on the board. They trail Baltimore 2 1. Now here he comes. Here comes the Judge. Here's Santander, fifth most home runs in a season by a switch hitter in Major League history. Santander ropes it down the line and right, and that yes. ball is off the pole. Clang, Doink gets a homer. 44th home run, 100th RBI, and I'm talking about just an absolute rocket. Tough break for the Yankees, as Verdugo would have scored, but Rizzo does score. It's an RBI double, and it's second and third, and the Yankees are now down by two. You don't need a home run here. A base hit likely ties the score. Line drive, it's a base hit to right field. One run scores. They're going to hold up Torres. Soto's going to second. The throw is not in time. Now they have Torres hung up. He's in a rundown. Rushman makes the throw to third, and Torres is out to end the inning. The Yankees make a mess out of it, and the Orioles escape with the lead. I don't understand that if you're the Yankees. I mean, the at bats coming up that you want to see, you bring Aaron Judge up with men in scoring position. He's probably going to get four balls, but still. Six outs at home this season, including last inning. That's tied for the most of the majors with Yandy Diaz. Oh, yeah. Kowser bombs away. Colton Kowser. Oh, goodness. That ball is all the way to Westchester. 432 feet. A little eighth inning insurance and eighth of milk cold. A walk to bring the tying run to the plate. And it's up to Alex Verdugo. And Verdugo puts it in the air to left field. Colton Kowser is there. And the magic number is down to one. It's a 5-3 final in the Bronx. And now turn your TVs to Minneapolis, Minnesota.